What is up guys, back with Dumb Luck TCG. As you can see, my buddy Chris has been uploading um, some of his own videos with some pretty good pulls. Um, today, it's gonna be a quick video on, just down, on the returns I got from a break buy-in that I get uh, once in a while. And I get the psychic type, that's all I know. And this is a God Pack that I got, which is the first one I've ever opened. Um, bought it from my guy Zach. Uh, I should be getting a few more of these. Um, they come with a few cards. I don't know the exact right now, but there is a description. And, uh, oh, this packaging's too good. Obviously, we don't want to cut the cards. Just cut it out. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't mind me. Look at that. That's so much more. Again, so this is dangerous, okay. We're starting to see something on the inside here. Hopefully, something uh, good. I didn't actually even get a look at it, so I'm still opening this. Okay. All right, guessing the back is the rare. So, let's see what we got. Let's put the rare back here on the ground, right here. And see what we get. We're gonna flip it right over. An unknown. A whooper. Zigzagoon. Rock Ruff. Steel Energy. Energies aren't bad. Malwa. Machoke. Pokemon Center Lady. Kuna. Make it. Ooh, some evolutions he threw in there. Okay, here they are. Oh, and that's our reverse. What did he give it? Is he giving it? Oh, a couple reverses. Ooh, that's kind of a nice card. That's a nice card right there. That's another reverse. These are the God Packs. Again, we're getting a few more of these. Ooh, it's a nice hollow. I have it, but it's a nice hollow. Halucha. I remember I used to pull those like crazy. Lycanroc. All right. For our first God Pack, and we do have a few coming back from the same guy. Let's get it. Is a Senescorch V. Not bad, not bad. Um, I do like how he did incorporate a lot of the hollows. I don't have the Senescorch, so actually this is a very good pull for me. We'll put that right back here, not on top of the Haunter. It slips, we'll just keep it right here. And then... Let's see what our returns are. So I'll put these off to the side. Oh, it's a wrecking joint. And these are our psychic returns. For me, obviously, they get, he gives... Uh, oh, is this fighting type too? I think I did. So this is fighting and psychic type. Um, break returns. So if some of you don't know what a break is, you buy into it. Um, and sometimes their breaks are different. It goes by just packs. Or this one is actually by typing. So... Let's just take a look at the rare we got, which is a Colossal V. Always a nice card and a half. Um, let's, okay, so anything with a case that I remember is actually like hollows, I think, and reverses, because he packages them like really well. I think this is all bulk. We'll go through the bulk after the rares, do this in kind of reverse. Yeah, so he does his reverses, and <laughs> there comes the Reggie Rocks from the other packs. This thing is a liability. Um, let's go to our bulk. Let's actually, we're just gonna kind of cruise through because there is a lot of bulk here that he gives out, which is good because I usually trade them back in for booster boxes. Okay, bulk is good. We need bulk, actually. Not a lot of uh, stuff in the market because people buy everything out and scalp it nowadays, so. I think this is our, yep, this is one of our psychic returns. I think there's a good couple of rares for this one. I can't remember, actually. Um, I think this is just the bulk again. Yeah, so bulk isn't as much, but last time, they gave me a lot. Oh, oh, I forgot there's some V-Star. That's, Mewtwo's beautiful. Look at that card. Is the edging good on it? Sorry, I'm just saying. But that is a nice Mewtwo. Um, huge, that's nice. These are really nice cards. I always forget how nice... Uh, the V-Star boxes are. So this one, I think, was before even that last one. So yeah, not a lot of hollow pulls, but that is a super nice Mewtwo. So we're going to put that in the back right there. Put this here. And, oh, so yeah, these are, ooh, that's promising. Let's 
see what we got in returns. So again, these are a buyback I do through actually a guy on Twitch called Nostalgic Factory. I do it once in a while. He does actually, I've had some pretty fire pulls from him. Actually, this PSA 8 Haunter was a pull from his site. So we got this. Ooh. Look at the Mew. Oh, I'm loving this set. Even if it's in Japanese. Look at the hollows. Like. Wow. The hollows. Even though, like, oh, I'm impressed by that set. Ooh, now we're to the good stuff. So we got the Dragapult V. I don't know if, I don't think I have this specifically. I may have the VMAX version. I gotta check. And we got a tag team from, oh, the pulls. Look at this. Tag team, Dusknor, Trevenant, uh, Shine, or V-Star. So these are... These are good on the market if you're selling them. They're not the greatest like price to buy them. People do put them at a very high price, but as you can see, the hollow quality for any uh, like Japanese cards is very easy to grade. Um, shiny, Ultra Beast. Oh man, these this is a good return. I do have another return coming at some point. It's I think a water type and a dark fairy type. So they're coming together. But again, this Mew. Mew is always a beautiful card. So let's go through our hits again. Let's just do a nice little backtrack here. Nice quick video today. Just wanted to show you guys my returns. Um, it's been a little bit. So I got some more of these. So the God Packs, I have more coming. Um, the Shining Fate stuff is kind of foggy right now because I guess the allocation is like really tough and people are already buying stuff out. So I don't know if I'm getting that anymore because a lot of sites canceled for allocation. Um, so we got our energy, which actually, again, even just for being an energy card, and it's Japanese, they're, they're, they're such nice cards. Like, Mew and Mewtwo, immediately getting a um, top loader, probably. Um, Colossal, Santa Scorch. This is, uh, so this guy said if you get, like, two of them, like, he basically gives away, like, he has a couple of Zards. Obviously not, like, the $900, like, PSA 10, but... He does have a few that are actually really nice and pretty tough to get right now. So hopefully he drops some of those in there and we'll see what happens with that. But our, our camp, I can't complain. Our, our returns are probably better than what I thought they were going to be. I think when I saw this, I, I watched this one live. I was a little disappointed. But again, it's randomized by type and spot. And he does randomize it twice live. So it's not like he's... Like gaming the system, but I do have to try like this. I think my favorite card. I don't even know. It's all good. So uh, I'm pretty sure Chris is supposed to be doing. Um, he might be doing it now or in the future. He's going to be doing his ETB. He just got from Champions Path, which right now, as everybody knows, is like impossible to get. So keep in touch with that. He's definitely going to be recording. I think he has a double box. He's going to do like an ultimate, just Champions Path. It's going to be off the charts. Um, I'm Anthony from Dumb Luck TCG, and again, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Drop a like, maybe comment on if I should keep doing uh, custom packs, which, again, custom packs aren't hard to come by. I can kind of request them right now because the way I buy them, he's putting them up in such, like, demand that I can keep up with it. And the pricing is not bad for the cards you get because I probably already paid for itself, if not more, depending on what you do with it. So, again, I'm Anthony from Dumb Luck TCG, and thank you for watching.